This is a Nightline Friday Night Special. Think of an American summer. Hot dogs, baseball, apple pie. It's this item that's part bread, part meat. It's starch, it's protein, it's vegetables. The best hot dog in Chicago, Vienna beer. We've got all the food groups represented in one handy little item. In a way, you think about it in that, that respect, it's probably the perfect American food. There's absolutely no question apple pie is the most popular pie. This is the kind of apple pie that some, someone's mom would make if someone's mom was a really, really good baker. If the major leagues are Broadway, this is off, off, off Broadway. We have great fans here. We don't get paid millions of dollars. We come out here because we love to. Tonight, as American as baseball, hot dogs, and apple pie. From ABC News, this is Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppel and reporting from Washington, Chris Bury. The death today. Whether you call them Franks or dogs or Red Hots, most Americans have thoughts about the best way to cook them, eat them, and top them. And on this topic, like many others, my fellow Chicagoans have a few strongly held opinions. Mustard, pickle relish, onions. The hot dog is an American icon, and it has been since uh, the turn of the last century. It's both funny because of uh, the idea of a hot dog, the name hot dog, and they're also quite delicious. Hot dogs are like the summer food, like hot dogs, baseball, apple pie. You put the condiments on it, you got a great meal, basically. I think this test of America. <laughs> They're good. That's all there is to it. Hot dogs! They're so embedded in American uh, folklore. It is the first portion control product. So that it could be sold easily at boardwalks, baseball games, all sorts of fairs. The hot dog has two origins. Um, one is uh, the wiener which is a Vienna sausage, and the other is a Frankfurter, which is a German sausage, supposedly from Frankfurt. These were brought to America, uh, not hot dogs, but those sausages, by German immigrants in the middle of the 19th century. Hot dogs as we know them today emerge at the, around the turn of the uh, 20th century, and the reason is because of the introduction of uh, machinery, which could make the kind of emuls emulsion, that's what the hot dog's made out of, that is really finely ground up stuff. I live in denial. Why I'd that? rather not know what I'm eating. As long as it tastes good, I'll eat it. The uh, ones in New York came with Polish and Russian immigrants who settled there. But the Chicago ones, and mostly it's because of the Vienna Beef Company, uh, are Hungarian. Their sausage maker in the 1920s was Hungarian, and he brought this Hungarian flavor. And that became the Chicago style. Buy the best hot dog in Chicago! And that remains that difference, the great divide in hot dogs. Sports Radio 670. Holy cow. How are you, Harry? I'm not so bad. I wish the Cubs could get somebody out, for God's sake. <laughs> I know. Chicago is a big hot dog town to begin with. Chicago is an independent restaurant town, where in, and I had hot, uh, three hot dog stands in this town, and, and you know what? People love hot dogs, and I used to set my hot dog stands up across the street uh, you know, from McDonald's, because I knew they did the survey, and wherever there was a McDonald's, I know there was a lot of foot traffic, and people wouldn't want the hamburgers. They'd say, hey, let's go get a hot dog. My first hot dog was eaten at Coney Island at uh, Nathan's hot dog stand. I was taken out there as a kid. It was just after World War II, and uh, it was great. The New Yorkers have garlic in it, Chicago more subtle spicing, many more spices. Myself, I'm a Chicago hot dog fan. There you go. And I think they're the best hot dogs in the world. <laughs> Chicago really is the hot dog capital because of all the stands. There are roughly 3,000 hot dog stands in and around the city, maybe more. And Chicagoans identify their neighborhoods with hot dog stands. You can start an argument in Chicago anytime by saying, which is the best hot dog stand? Native Chicagoan Joe Montaigne is shooting his latest movie, Uncle Nino, in a Chicago suburb. 
I, I go back to when I was a little kid, you know, growing up in Chicago. I, I mean, I can still remember how my mother would give me, you know, on, on school days. She was she was at work. My dad was at work. She had to give, they'd give me a quarter to buy two hot dogs to come home at lunchtime from my school, walk home and sit in my grandmother's uh, living room in front of the black and white television and watch, like, the afternoon shows and eat these two hot dogs, you know, with the, with the poppy seed buns, mustard, tomato, and, and the pickle. It has chopped onions. It has... Uh bright green relish, and it has to be neon green. There's no other, no substitute, and uh, sometimes celery salt. Depends on your taste. One of the beautiful things about uh, hot dog stands in Chicago is their um, handmade nature, and they represent the entrepreneur, him or herself, who is trying to make it in the world. These are petty entrepreneurs who are at the, at the bottom end of the business chain. They're very hopeful in a lot of ways. They represent the neighborhoods they're in, because the iconography often looks like the neighborhood, Mexican or, uh, or African-American, and you can tell right away when you see them. It represents their neighborhood, but it also represents their aspirations, their democratic impulses. Here, Barbie Slut! At night, That's Chicago hot dogs go from red hot hey, to the red zone at the Wiener's Circle. Hurry up, tight ass, what do you want? In the afternoon, it's the normal hot dog stand. At night it turns around and uh, becomes a zoo. Yeah, I've been coming here for 30 years, 25, 30 years, and they've been doing it forever. And it's, and it's the same, and I keep coming back. That's the problem. <laughs> and there's another red line in Chicago. No ketchup. No. No, no, no ketchup. Ketchup. It's just not the way. Can't be done. We are all this conglomeration of people from all over the world, so maybe it's a good thing that it's a, it's this item that's part bread, part meat, it's starch, it's protein, it's vegetables, it's probably the perfect American food. We're individualists, we're democratic, no one's better than anyone else. And the hot dog represents that. It's one reason it became an icon. It's the food of the masses, sold on the streets, sold everywhere, to everyone. When we come back, something sweet to top off our meal.